This is the Forest 230 bandsaw. It has a sliding table where you open up the table, mount whatever you're going to saw, such as a block of foam, fabric, uh, just about any low density material, uh, piping, and then as you're sawing, you move the table to cut the large item. And you cut through the item. It has an adjustable blade guide which you can go all the way down to about four inches. It, it bottoms out and then you can raise it all the way up and get you can actually cut about 24 inches on this saw. And it's uh, well, that measures right at 25 and a half, 25 and a quarter. I haven't done anything over 24 inches. Uh, but when you're this wide, you got to be something soft because you get a little blade deflection. Um, but if, say, you're cutting a, uh, a storm pipe or a, a 20 inch PVC pipe and wanting to cut a 90 on it, uh, you can tighten up the tension on the blade and use this to cut something that big. And then when you're ready to do something smaller, just lower it down, tighten it up. This machine is a 110, 1.5 horsepower machine. So it has a 1.5 horsepower motor, a 110 standard plug-in with a cutler hammer starter. And simple start-stop, it has a reset for the overload heaters. Now this motor draws 16 amps at start-up. And we'll go ahead and we'll start it. Just push the button to stop it. It has a built in dust collection system that sucks the dust off of the saw blade itself. Then comes down and joins a main chute which comes off the bottom inside of the blade which sucks the dust out. So you would attach your dust collection system to this outlet and it would suck both from the underside of the blade or underside of the wheel and top side of the blade there. So uh, does a pretty good job. Uh, you need at least a one horsepower dust collection to give enough vacuum. Cut a little foam on this saw. First thing I do is I use some magnets just to provide a backstop. I'm going to lower our blade guide down to about an inch or two above. Line everything up. Okay. Back off. Start the saw. There you've cut your foam in half. Cutting a cardboard box. Uh, a lot of people have these filled with foam or scrap and they need to cut it up. Now you can use a variety of different blades. This is a 20 tooth per inch blade, so it's a rather fine blade. Uh, you can use bimetal blades uh, to cut wood, pallets, nails, uh, just about anything you want to cut except this isn't really designed for cutting heavy steel. Uh, you can put an aluminum blade in here and cut aluminum sheet um, and then plywood trim pallets, things like that. 